Welcome to a lesson on homogeneous systems of equations. A system of equations is called homogeneous if each equation is equal to zero. A homogeneous system has the form shown below, and this is not as complicated as it looks. A sub one one through A sub m n are the scalars or coefficients, and X sub one through X sub n are the variables. And there are two examples of homogeneous systems below. Notice in both systems, the equations are equal to zero, which is why they are considered homogeneous systems of equations. A homogeneous system of equations always has the solution where all the variables are equal to zero. So for the first system on the left, because we have two unknowns, zero comma zero is the trivial solution to the homogeneous system. Notice when x is zero and y is zero, both equations are true or are satisfied. For the system on the right, because we have three variables, the order triple zero comma zero comma zero is the trivial solution. Once again, notice how when x, y, and z are all zero, all three equations are satisfied or are true. A solution in which not all the variables are equal to zero is called a non-trivial solution. Let's take a look at an example of determining the non-trivial solutions to a homogeneous system of equations. Notice here we have two equations with three unknowns and therefore the trivial solution is zero comma zero comma zero, but we're looking for the non-trivial solutions. To find the non-trivial solutions, if they exist, we set up an augmented matrix. Because we have two equations with three unknowns, we have a two by four augmented matrix. Equation one gives us the first row of two, one, negative one, zero. The second equation gives us the second row of one, two, negative two, zero. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, shown here on the right. Once we have the augmented matrix in this form, the non-zero leading entries in each row are the pivot positions. Notice in this case, we have a pivot position here as well as here. These are non-zero leading entries in the rows, which indicates that the pivot columns are column one and column two, and therefore the variables x and y are the basic variables or leading variables. And the remaining variable, in this case z, is a free variable. From row one, we know that one x equals zero, or x equals zero. From row two, we know one y minus one z equals zero, or y minus z equals zero. And because z is a free variable, z can be any value, which we can indicate by z equals z. From here, we want to write the basic variables in terms of the free variable z. So the first equation remains the same, x equals zero. For the second equation, we add z to both sides, y is equal to z. Third equation remains z equals z. So this would be one way to express the non-trivial solutions to the system, but we often parameterize these solutions by setting the free variables equal to different variables. So in this case, we can parameterize the solution by letting the free variable z equal t. So if we let z equal t, we have x equals zero, y equals t, and z equals t. This is another common way to express non-trivial solutions. Another way is to write a matrix equation, which could also be referred to as a vector equation. To write the matrix equation, we first have a column matrix that contains the variables, in this case x, y, and z, equal to another column matrix indicated by the parametric equations, x is equal to zero, y is equal to t, and z is equal to t. But we often factor out the variable here on the right, so if we factor out t, we have the column matrix where the elements are x, y, z, equals t, and then times the column matrix that will be the coefficients of t, which are zero, one, and one. So this is another common way to express the non-trivial solutions to a homogeneous system of equations. Notice how when t is equal to zero, we would have the trivial solution, zero comma zero comma zero, or expresses a column matrix, as we see here on the left, and the column matrix on the right being multiplied by t is called the basic solution. And once again, these column matrices can be referred to as vectors. 
Let's take a look at a second example. Again, we want to find the non-trivial solutions to the given homogeneous system of equations. So first you write the augmented matrix. If the first equation gives us the row 1, 4, 3, 0, the second equation gives us the row 3, 12, 9, 0. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done here on the right. Notice now we only have one leading entry or one pivot position here. So x is the only basic variable or leading variable. Both y and z are free variables. The first row indicates that x plus 4y plus 3z equals 0. Because both y and z are free variables, we also have y equals y and z equals z. Because both x and y are free variables, it's common to rewrite the first equation solving for x in terms of y and z. So that would give us x is equal to negative 4y minus 3z. And we still have y equals y and z equals z. This would be one way to express the non-trivial solutions, but again, it's more common to parameterize the solution. We're here because we have two free variables, both y and z. We can let y equal s and z equal t, and therefore the non-trivial solutions can be expressed as x equals negative 4s minus 3t, y equals s, z equals t. Let's also write the solution as a matrix equation, which again can also be referred to as a vector equation. We have the variable column matrix equals the column matrix where the first element is negative 4s minus 3t, the second element is s, the third element is t. But notice here we do have two variables. We have s terms and t terms. So now we're going to write this as a sum of two column matrices where we have the S terms in the first column matrix and the T terms in the second column matrix. The elements in the first column matrix are negative 4S, S, and 0. The elements in the second column matrix are negative 3T, 0, and T. But again, we typically factor out the variables, so we'll factor out S from this first column matrix and T from the second column matrix. So again, we have the variable matrix equals, if we factor out S, we have the column matrix with elements negative 4, 1, and 0. Notice these are the coefficients of S. And then plus, if we factor out T, the coefficients of T are negative 3, 0, and 1. So this is another way to express the non-trivial solutions to a homogeneous system. And once we have the solution in this form, Notice when s and t are both zero, we have the trivial solution, which can be expressed as a column matrix or vector. And then the column matrices on the right are called the basic solutions. And there's one more thing I do want to mention before we go. If x sub 1 through x sub n and v are column matrices, then v is said to be a linear combination of the column matrices x sub 1 through x sub n if there exists scalars a sub 1 through a sub n such that column matrix V can be written in the form shown here on the right. Where in our case, a sub 1 and a sub 2 would be s and t, and x sub 1 and x sub 2 are the two column matrices, which we know are called basic solutions. So we can say these solutions to the system are linear combinations of the two column matrices or vectors, which are the basic solutions. I hope you found this helpful.